What's up, metalheads? War Metal Blade here, and welcome back to another video. Now, I know I didn't do Mondays with Metal, I apologize, but I'm bringing a video to you guys right now, and if you can tell by the band logo on the top right here, I'm going to be doing a discussion video of the latest news in the world of Pantera. Supposedly, Phil and Selmo and Rex Brown announced that they're going to be taking the band on tour. Now, I think this is going to be a full-on Pantera tour, not a tribute tour. Not a best of tour, well, kind of, since they're going to be playing Pantera songs, but I'm just to make, here to make a video thinking, will this actually work? I mean, for those of you who don't know, um, Vinnie Paul and Dimebag Daryl, the App Brothers, have passed away. Dimebag passed away all the way back in 2004, and then Vinnie Paul died just a couple of years ago. Rest in peace to both of you guys. Now, Pantera is a band that I actually love. They're my favorite 90s band. I know a lot of people don't like Pantera, and that's your guys' opinion. I respect that, but for me, I love Pantera. Cowboys from Hell is my favorite album. But I'm here to talk about, will this tour work? Because up until now, they've only announced that they're taking the band on tour, which I honestly don't think it'll work because half the band is dead. But I'm really curious to see how it'll work. I mean, Phil has definitely played some Pantera songs, I believe with Down and Phil and Simmel and the Illegals. I'm not quite sure, but I'm really curious to see who will be playing guitar and drums because Pantera is a band that needs no introduction. You know, they released Cowboys from Hell, Far Beyond Driven, Vulgar Display of Power, and so on. But I'm not here to talk about the music. Well, I'll talk about it here and there. But like, like I said, will this tour actually work? I will say this, though, I'm definitely curious to see how it'll turn out, because, oh, and I think my dogs are barking. Yeah, my dogs are barking. Anyway, I'm a little curious, I'm not going to lie, I'm curious to see how this will work. Now, when it comes to playing guitar, if there were going to be a Pantera reunion tour, even back when Vinnie Paul was still alive, there is one person that I would want to fill in Dime's spot. The one person that I think fits... Dime Shoes the best is the one and only Zack Wild, because you guys know Dimebag and Zack were like brothers back then. They were like such good friends. I mean, I've seen Black Label Society. I've met Zack Wild. He's a really nice guy. He's a great guitarist, and I think he could fill it. Now drums. I'm trying to think who would be the best. I saw a post that it would be Zack Wild and Charlie Benante from Anthrax on drums. That actually wouldn't be a bad lineup. I mean, I know people can say, it's not Pantera without Vinny or Dime, and I understand and I respect and agree. But I'm honestly curious because I grew up, Pantera was around when I wasn't really into music or metal in general. I mean, they formed formed in the late 80s. They were really popular in the 90s, and I, I was born in 94, the year Far Beyond Driven was released. So th that is honestly still the one band I would give some give everything to see as Pantera. Just the intensity they had back in the day was just incredible. I know, I know, I know. I can agree that they can be overrated, but I love Pantera. Pantera is going to be one of my favorite bands till the end of time. Now, what I think won't work is because, like I said, half the band is dead. Vinny and Dime are dead. They're not coming back. It's sad, I know. But at the same time, the more I think about it, there are some really talented musicians out there that could fill their spots. I mean, like I said, Zach Wilde is a great guitarist. I'm pretty sure he could do it. Now, drums, Charlie Benante, it was, I don't know if it was a for sure po for sure thing on the post or whatever. I think, I think Charlie could do good. I'm trying to think of any other drummers that would come to mind that would fill the spot. I, um, I saw a post on Facebook that um, there was a guitarist from Decapitated that could do a good job on guitar. But honestly, I think Dime is the best. Dimebag is one of the best guitarists. Zach Wilde is the man to fit the spot. And I think it was back in 2012 where there was a rumor that there was supposed to be a Pantera reunion tour with Zach Wilde back when Vinnie Paul was still alive. So, yeah, I decided to make a video just to share my thoughts on it, you know. And who knows, maybe I might even attend a show just to see it, just to see what it's like. 
But I know we're not going to get the same four original members of the band. We're not going to get it. And it's sad, I know. And honestly, I really want to know what Rita Haney, uh, Dime's girlfriend, would think about all this. Because, my god, just... That day in 2004, the metal world lost it a true guitar legend. I mean, Dime was a really great guitarist. He's not my favorite, but I would honestly put him in my top five favorite guitarists just for the amount of work that he did with Pantera. I mean, I listened to Damage Plan a little bit, the band that Dime and Vinny were with after the Disperse of Pantera, and of course, you know, Vinny passing away without patching things up with Phil. It just sucks, though, because... Here's a band from the 90s that I would say changed metal or saved metal. That's what Scott Ian said, and but Pantera's behind the music. But anyway, I'm just curious. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think on this whole Pantera reunion with two members. I don't hate it. I'm really curious. But like I said, I have mixed feelings on this because I don't know how it's going to go, who they're going to get to have on guitar and drums. Because you need some pretty big shoes to fill in what Vinny and Dime have made. I love Pantera. I always will. This album, Cowboys from Hell, is going to be the best album that they have ever put out. And I know a lot of people prefer Power Metal, the album that came out right before this. So it's just something that I really wanted to just talk about. You know, I apologize that there was no Mondays with Metal this week. Super busy with work, gotta get up super early. But when I heard about this, I thought I had to make a video explaining my thoughts on this because this is something that. Because Pantera is a band that means a lot, but I just don't know how they're gonna go through with this. Who's gonna go to the shows? Even if this ha if this happens, you know, Rex and and Phil are talking about it. People say it's confirmed, but it could change. And if they decide to go through with this, who are we going to get? I want Zach Wilde on guitar. And maybe, if I can't think of anybody else, Charlie Benante would be good too. Maybe even Jason Bittner from Shadows Fall. I think he would be a good choice. He's a damn good drummer. That's another band I really got to listen to more, Shadows Fall. I mean, The War Within is a good album. Jason Bittner is a really good drummer. An underrated drummer at that. I just... I really want to figure out who would they get... To fill in Vinny and Dime spots because like I said two great musicians gone way too soon I feel like that if Vinny and Paul were still uh, yeah if Vinny and Dime were still alive we might have gotten that Pantera reunion later down the line I feel like we could have maybe there could have been a chance that Vinny and Phil could have patched things up I mean I love Phil and Selma but he brought that on himself for what he did to the Abbott brothers but like I said I wish they could have worked things out. I wish Dime was still around. I wish Vinny was still alive as well. Rest in peace to you metal legends. And we'll see what happens with this so with this Pantera reunion. I mean, they'll probably make it work. Who knows? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. But anyway, guys, that's all the time I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Lord Metal Blade, and I will see you metalheads in the next video.